Setting up your wireless 4K Contour Stream Player is easy. In just a few minutes, you'll be enjoying your favorite shows, streaming content, movies, and more. So let's get started. First, let's go over what you'll need from your end. Your TV, your original TV remote, your panoramic Wi-Fi gateway device, and your larger contour box, if applicable. Your box should contain the following items, a wireless 4K contour stream player, a contour voice remote, it might look like this or this, an HDMI cable, a power cable, and quick start instructions. Please note, if you have Cox Internet service, your panoramic Wi-Fi gateway must be installed before continuing. If you have a larger contour box, that also needs to be up and running before continuing this installation. If you need to install either the gateway or large contour box, follow the instructions that came with those devices before proceeding. Once these are working, you're ready to get started. We recommend you use the new cables included in your kit. Now look on the back of your contour stream player. See the HDMI port marked in blue? Plug the blue end of the HDMI cable into that port. Now, there should be a similar HDMI port on the back or side of your TV. Plug the black end of the HDMI cable into it. Remember which TV HDMI port you plug it into. It'll be important later. Connect the power cord into the power port on the back of the Contour Stream Player. It's right here. Plug the other end into an electrical outlet. Be sure to choose an outlet that's not connected to a dimmer or on-off switch. You're ready to activate your Contour Stream Player. Now, let's turn on your TV. Go to the Source or Input button on your original TV remote. Remember the HDMI port on your TV that you plugged the cable into earlier? On your remote, select the HDMI port that matches it. You'll be prompted to follow the on-screen instructions. Then, relax a few minutes while your Contour Stream Player activates. Lastly, let's set up your voice remote. Simply follow the on-screen instructions. When you see All Set on your TV, press the OK button on the remote. Depending on which voice remote you have, the OK button will look like either this or this. If you skipped these steps or need to revisit pairing the remote to the TV or external audio device, press the A button, then select Remote Setup under Troubleshooting. And you're done! Now the only thing you've got to figure out is what to watch. Your Welcome Guide walks you through how to use your Contour Stream Player. Keep it handy for easy reference. For quick access to tutorials, check out the Help screen on your Contour Guide by pressing the A button on your Contour Voice Remote. Visit cox.com learn for information on getting the most out of your service. A quick reboot might fix it. If you have Cox Internet service, we recommend rebooting your gateway first. Similarly, if you have a larger contour box, we recommend rebooting it before proceeding. Simply reboot your gateway or larger contour box by unplugging the power cord from the wall, wait about 20 seconds, then plug it back in. Once these are back up and running, you should then reboot your contour stream player. Just unplug the power cord from the wall Wait about 20 seconds, then plug it back in again. The input source on your TV might not be set up correctly. Just press the input or source button on your TV remote until you select the HDMI connection that matches the port your HDMI cable is plugged into on your TV. First, check that the input or source on your TV is set up correctly. If your remote still doesn't control your TV, you may need to set up your remote again. Press the A button on your Contour Voice Remote, then Remote Setup, and follow the steps on screen. Still having problems or questions? Check out these resources.